Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and in this video I want to show you guys where the Shattered Realm Ascendant Anchors are for Week 1. This is Ascendant Ballast 1, this is Week 1, and this is going to be the Forest of Echoes. And also while we're in here we're going to find Trivial Mysteries, and there's going to be 6 total chests that you can actually find in here. You may only need 3 of them, so but if you get them done now they should definitely count for later. Beacons Aligned basically means you just need to run this thing, I think it's 2 or 3 times... Um, but basically, we're going to cover the Shattered Realm, Forest of Echoes, and this is basically all for week one. Big thing that you're going to need is an Overload weapon. I've got a bow running Trinity Ghoul, and for Linear Fusion, I'm going to go Unstoppable there. So once you jump in, um, there's a couple times that I will kind of cut ahead depending on where things, you know, kind of even out. But most of it, I should be able to show you where everything's at, even though I've picked up the anchors once. I think they may have bugged for me. I'm not entirely sure how that's all going to work out, but at least I know where all the locations are so I can show you where those are at. So you kind of traverse in, you'll see this big kind of creepy busted up church with floating steeple and all that fun stuff. The big thing to know is you'll see the big giant beam of light coming out of the church. That is one of the beacons that you need to align. Once you align that, there are barrier walls and other things that you're going to be able to unlock. You also see something that says True Sight. We don't have that unlocked yet. You're also going to see something that says Safe Passage. We don't have that yet either. Inside the helm, there is the little, um, basically the Wayfinder's Compass. It's, you know, your kind of seasonal NPC thing that you interact with. And it's got the grid of little nodes that you upgrade. The first one is the only one you need. So you're likely going to need to go through the main quests. You're going to have to do the basic um, Dreaming City activity for the first time. Then come into the Shattered Realm, just going to beat this for the first time. Once you're done with this, then you'll be able to come back in here. You'll be able to get the upgrade and that type of stuff will continue from there. So from here, once you've got that upgrade done, you'll be able to use the Barrier Breach nodes. And those are the ones that we're going to point out. First thing you're going to do is just keep traversing down. Nothing too crazy as we go down in this thing. And I am going to have a bit of an issue if my anchor's bugged because I picked them all up, but they are no longer there to be picked up. But I'll show you guys where everything's at. So I'm going to clear out some of the ads real fast, and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about for each one of these. I am using Trinity Ghoul, so got a little lightning bow. Can't really go too wrong with that. And all you pretty much have to do is I kill him. The first one is literally right here. You're not going to be able to miss it. It's big, giant, purple... A little beam of light right here sitting on this tree and then from here what we need to do is actually go into the church we're gonna align the beacon go through the waves of ads and then after that i'm gonna show you where each one of the um, anchors are at there's quite a few in this area um basically this little building right here this little baby church um or almost tomb whatever it's called we're gonna use this as a point of reference for most of the ones after we get done in the church so i'm gonna head inside clear out the ads i'll show you guys at least what that looks like from here Use my little lightning fun. Be cautious. There are a couple of these guys. All right. So you are slowed when you're in this kind of field. You'll notice I can't jump. I can't run. You're slowed. In here, you'll be okay. So you just need to run up to the beacon. Activate it. Kill all the enemies. This first one is going to be an unstoppable champion. So make sure you got something unstoppable with you. And I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, so once you've finished up with the first beacon, beacons aligned, all the enemies are down, the champion's down. Now you can interact with most of these um, basically barrier breach little nodes around the area. Same thing is going to happen on the other side when we get over there. There's one that you're going to be able to find early, and then the rest of them you're going to have to, you know, defend the beacon, open that one up, and then you'll be able to find the rest of them. So the first one is actually in here itself in this little church. So you're going to activate this, invoke barrier breach, and again, you won't be able to do this if you don't have the node unlocked. And then you need to turn around on this one, and your goal is to get up top. I'll show you guys where that's at. And once you jump, you just need to grab onto this little ledge. Sometimes it doesn't go so hot. And you just need to get past this little wall right here. Barely made it. And don't worry, if you fall down, you can go back and get it again. Your anchor will be sitting right up here in the top. And if you're wondering... This says True Sight and then Safe Passage. Those will be accessible later on. All you got to do is, you know, find a little hole in the floor, fall down through, and you're good to go. Now, from here, you can actually just run out the back. And this will be number two. So, after you leave the church, leave out the back side. And we're going to be coming right up here. 
Once you're on this little rock, you're no longer slowed. Your second anchor should be right up here on this little rock. Right there. Hard to miss if you're standing where I am. When we come up here, we're going to be going for our first actual chest. Those I can't open. I won't get anything from them, but you guys will at least be able to see me open them, which is good. So for this one, you actually kind of want to stop basically right here. That's the safe passage. You can't do anything with those either. But you can jump up here and work your way up this path that I'm showing you guys. Jump on over. And then jump across. And if you can clamber up to this little ledge and railing, you see a barrier breach up here. Fall on down. And we will have chest number one. And these will count as your trivial mystery solved. You might need another barrier breach or at least reload your countdown timer so you can go back outside. And then we're going to head back down to the little church cathedral thing that was down there where we were. So far, from this point, you should have one anchor up top, one anchor up on that little ledge, and then one chest up inside. From here, we're going to head back to kind of where that main central area was at that I mentioned in the beginning. Probably the one that you're going to want to remember. Where most of the stuff is going to be centralized from. And we'll kind of discuss all that as we go. And you could have some ads as you work through this thing, but that's okay. Clear them out as you go. You usually have two waves, it seems. Uh, usually one with like a Minotaur, one with maybe a Centurion. Sometimes one with a Knight or a Captain. They tend to be varied. So it's good to just kind of clear everything out. Pernita Ghoul is very good at clearing ads, as you can tell. <laughs> Makes, helps you get some ammo. And then from here, we're going to go for a couple more. So from here, you've got Barrier Breach. But before you do that one, we're going to go in there in a second. Just If you're looking there, just run around the back side. Number three, you should literally be tucked right back here. It's just literally behind the building, sitting right here. Pretty easy to spot. Now, we're going to use Barrier Breach for number four. We're going to go in this little catacombs thing. As you drop down in, at least to kind of keep your orientation, as you get down to the bottom, you'll see this little, like, iron grate. We'll get to that chest in a second. When you come around this corner, the anchor should be sitting right down here on the ground. Pretty easy to spot. You're going to have a couple ads over here. Just way to clear those out. And then here is chest number two. And that one, that will be another trivial mystery solved. Again, you'll have six that you can technically get right now. You only need three for the triumph. But you may as well get them all now because at some point you're probably going to need them if you want all the uh, seasonal challenges. So work your way back out the way you came in. Jump on up. And again, invoke barrier breach. Come outside and you're good to go. Now, from the little cathedral, even though I have barrier breach on, just ignore that. I'm going to get another recap of it. We're going to do basically a 180, and you're going to see that cave back there. We're going to head back towards it. So from here, again, you can see you need another barrier breach. This one's really easy to pick up right over here. Open this one up. We're going to drop down. You're going to have one enemy over here on the left-hand side. Easy to take him out. Grab your third chest. That's your third mystery. And then also down in here, you're going to have a couple more adds. And then your anchor will be um, sitting right on top of this one. And if you're looking where I am, you won't miss it. But it's literally right up there. And then if you need to get out of here, which you will, go ahead and grab your barrier breach. Head outside. And should be good to go. At this point, we should be up to about five, if I remember correctly. No, six. I'm sorry. So you've got the one right here on the tree. Second one is in the church. Third one is on the cliff side by the church. You've got the first chest farther up the cliff inside the little building that you had to get into. Then you have the one behind the building for the anchor. You have the anchor and the chest in there. And then you have the anchor and the chest in here. So we're six anchors and three chests in. From where I am right now, you're going to turn to the right. Head over this direction. And we're going to clear out some of these ads. Tread lightly, Guardian. And then there's one that you can pick up, no but then we have to activate the next beacon before we can really do anything else. So at this point, you can clear some of the ads out, make sure you got a nice safe path to run through. A lot of ads over here. 
There we go. Your Trinity Ghoul may not work the same way. The reason mine does is because of the catalyst. You can have some snipers around, so watch those as you work across. But before you go too far, if you see this little light right here, this is the one that we ran towards. We were just over there. We jumped up here. Got the light. This is the main little kind of ruined city area. Turn to your right. Jump right up here. And then up here. And you will have another anchor right up here. So we're up to seven anchors right now. From here, we're going to head across. Got a few more ads to clear up. The ads while we travel, I don't really care about showing you guys. Those are pretty standard. But when it comes to some of the other, like the actual wave of ads, you guys can manage those. I know you can. So oh, I'm going to let you guys work those out. But some of this stuff along the way, I do like to show you guys as we travel. So you can't use any of the barrier breach stuff, any of these things. Nothing is active until you actually get the beacon aligned up top. So we've got to head up there, do those. This one is going to be an overload beacon. So make sure you get your overload weapon ready. Make sure you got some ammo for whatever you're going to be using. We're going to head up to the top. We are slowed again. Slowly but surely. Literally, we will get up to the top. And then once you knock that one out, uh, I'll show you guys where the rest of everything else is at up here. And there's one that we're going to have to backtrack track for. So clear out your ads. See if anything else is up here. I'm going to align this beacon. One thing to watch when you are aligning this beacon, especially if you're doing this solo, there are going to be some enemies up on the ledges back up there. So be careful and keep your eyes up and look around. If you need to retreat back, Back here by the water wheel, this rock will give you a decent amount of cover, so you can use some of that to pull back if you need to. But let me knock this out, and we'll be right back. All right, so once you have aligned both beacons, you're going to have the final section up top, which is kind of a little baby boss fight. But before you go up there, we're going to go ahead and show you guys three more anchors, and then also three more chests on this side. So from the anchor, you're going to basically do another 180. You're going to come back down here, and you're going to see this wall. Can't get through it, but that's the wall I want you to know where you're coming from because we're going to come out that and head across the little area to this one a little bit later. But for now, you see this little water wheel. You may have spotted it already. There is an anchor that actually sits right here in the middle. So you need to kind of float your way up in there, hang right here, gather your anchor, and then jump on this roof because up here, I've tried to look for any other way to get into this house, and I cannot seem to find one. You can go up over the back, and here is your actual barrier breach. So not, I think it's this one, actually. This is your barrier breach. That's your true sight. We'll do that stuff later. But barrier breach will let you in the house. And in here, you're going to have the acolytes. Clear those guys out. And here is chest number four. Now, we need another barrier breach to actually, for one, get outside, but to also carry it all the way across. So you're going to go ahead and get another barrier breach, and then get on the move. You don't want to linger too long. And then again, once you're out of the slowed area, make sure you move in pretty quick. You don't have too much time to cross this area. Once you're in here, you will have chest number five. Barrier breach, you're going to need to pick that up again. And then back here. And your anchor should be like right back here. I know it's close right back in this area. So it should be right back here. And that is anchor number nine and chest number five. Again, find whichever one is barrier. Should be this one. We're going to go back in. Same direction we went out. And then we're going to retreat all the way down for number 10. I would do it earlier, and I even recorded a video showing it earlier, but I'd cleared out the anchor. You have to, like, or cleared out the uh, beacon. You have to align the beacon before you can do the rest of these. That's why it's important. So, now that we've got this one, we're going to head all the way back down to pretty much where we came from that first time from the other side of the map. So head back down, all the way down. Get a little lost, that's okay. Just keep going in a downward angle. It's pretty hard to miss. You'll see the portal. You do not want to actually go in that one yet. That's the one that's going to uh, take you up to the very top, which will finish this thing. But for right now, we actually have to make a bit of a retreat because we now have the barrier breach ability that we need to be able to finish this section up. So keep going around here. You can even land on this one if you feel like you got a better angle to get across. And then we're just heading back down into these areas. Again, if you need to clear out some of these ads and you feel more comfortable, do it before you get down there. It's really not a big deal either way. It's always going to be a few extra. Hi, right, buddy. 
Straggler. Oh, and Minotaur. What's up, dude? And keep heading back. The first one we got was like way up there in the top of the building. You're going to head all the way back here to this corner. And we're going to go down on the lower cliff section. So if you go down here, you can see a small cliff that you can fall to. A little bit of a path that you can travel along. Keep going back this way. Now, the anchor should be sitting right up there on top of that. Pretty easy to spot when you get in here. Hard to miss, but once your two adds are down, it should literally be sitting right on top of this rock. Once you get that one, that is your 10th anchor. That should be all of them. And then invoke barrier breach and your final chest will be tucked right around this direction. That will be all six chests for the Forest of Echoes. And I'm going to remember, this is Forest of Echoes. There's probably going to be different weeks and different things that we find. As you can see, there's also like true sight and safe passage nodes that we're going to be able to activate as well. Once you get done with this, then you can go finish up your run. You got to go ahead all the way back up. I'll get your traversal going up the cliff. If I don't die, it'd be great. And same as before, when you go to align the beacon, all you're going to be doing is head up to the top. There's a wizard. You just have to kill, kill the glowing kind of orange bar enemies up at the top each time to lower the wizard shield, and then you'll be good with the shield. So hopefully this guide shows you where everything is at. That's six chests and ten ascendant anchors here in the Shattered Realm. And this is for the one for Forest of Echoes. Thank you guys very much. If you did enjoy this video, drop a like below. If I somehow missed anything, please drop a comment below to help everybody else out as well. And I can always try and, you know, make a separate video for things that I missed throughout the season. If you guys are new to the channel and you want to see more content from me, you like this video and you think more will be helpful, hit that subscribe button. Hit the alert bell to make sure my videos make it to you. If you want to support the channel, you can hit that join button and become a member. You guys can find me on Twitter at Ebontis and also over on twitch.tv slash as well. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.